What's up everyone, that's the Galactic Gear here. And it's what I'm gonna talk about yesterday. So last night I went back to the card shop that I went to last week. If you watched my video about la last week, well last Saturday, I believe. I went to find a new card shop to play Vanguard at. I went there last night and I was playing one in person since everybody else was in was is in Houston for Spring France, which is basically a three on three Vanguard team tournament. So everybody else has gone for Texas for that. Except for like me and one other, one other guy. So I was playing Galactic Hero, because you know, that's my favorite deck in Vanguard over just so far. So I played Hero and played like six or seven matches and I basically went undefeated, but I lost my last match because I got kind of just overpowered. So that match was kind of, kind of, I lost that match. But overall, I had a really fun time. Um, obviously he couldn't stay, um, he had to go home at some point. So I ended up buying some cards, and which is why I have the binder you see on here that I got from GameStop. It's a Pikachu binder. Uh, I bought some cards from the card shop, and I was looking through their binders and picked up a few cards that I needed either for decks or collections. And there's like, um, I think I did some pretty. I think I got some really good stuff. I wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna use the binder. Then leave the binder empty. And it'll probably be used for either this binder or another binder that I have that I'm gonna end up changing, changing, switching out. Um, they'll be used for whenever I go to different card shops and pick up different cards. That way I can kind of show you guys what I picked up from at the end of the trip. So I think I'm gonna use binder for that, just to, for pick, to pick up cards and put them in the side of here so that I keep them organized, keep them nice and um, together, and protect them whenever I buy cards at card shops or whenever I just buy cards from people or trade cards from people that I, when I'm not at home or getting in the mail. So yeah, this binder will be my trade binder. Well, not my trade transfer binder for myself, for my personal cards that I get from people or from crack shops. That way I can kind of have something to put them, my cards in. But yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys everything I picked up um, yesterday. So you can kind of see what all I got. That's basically all about the point of this video. Um, but we're going to start by showing off this PSA 9. Um, Volkner Full Art Card from Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. It's a Mint 9. I got it for $20. And it's a character, it's a Full Art Character Card, which is like my favorite Pokemon cards. So, of course, I had to get one to display on my shelf. Um, I don't have any, I don't own any PSA cards. So, this is like super cool. Um, I really want to get my, some, a few of my cards graded any, um, sometime soon once I get them signed. So I will be having hopefully someday um be doing some um graded some PSA return videos hopefully once I get both my Charizards um my Charizards my Dark Magician Girl and my Stardust Star Dragon once I get those cards signed I'll be sitting spending those along with my Ultimate Rare um Chaos Emperor Dragon and one other Vanguard card that I have to get graded. And see what they come back at so I can display them. Because I'm not really looking for their value for the most part. I'm just kind of wanting to get them signed and grade it just so that I have them for my personal collection. Because I don't plan on get re getting rid of them. It's just kind of like something I just want to do just to keep them from my personal enjoyment. Um, I plan on getting the Dark Beach Girl signed by um, Gage or Nim Nim. Um, I'm getting my Stardust Dragon signed by Simo. And I want to get both of my Charizard, my Charizard VMAX Rainbow Rear and my Shiny Charizard VMAX signed by Real Breaking Nate. So that's kind of like my whole goal is to try that at some point in the next like few years to get those cards signed. So I can start submitting those all, submit all four at once and see what they come back as because that'd be super exciting. But yeah, um, for the binder, the first page. Um, I did buy three copies of Old Tree of, um, Ultra Air Junk Warriors, because they have three. I bought all three of them. Same with the Power Dragons. They have three of them. I bought all three. I know a few of them are, dinged, are pretty dinged up. Or dinged up. So that was probably fine. I don't plan on doing this with them. I just buy every copy of Junk Warrior and Power Dragon I find that, and I, that I come across. And I'm pretty sure that when these, either one of these cards will become like, really good. I'm probably going to have like, a whole collection full of them. So, yeah. Uh, got a pretty beat, badly beaten up um, Ancient Fairy Dragon, but that didn't really care about it to me. 
Got a Junk Destroyer and a Junk Speeder. I think next time I go there, I will be showing you guys two cars that I want to buy. They have a Ulti a um, Power Tool Dragon and a Ghost Rider Power Tool Dragon. I do plan on buying those cards sometime soon for the collection because I really, 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 really want those cards for my collection because I do want to have a complete set or at least a complete set I can get for the Sandy Dragons having both OT, um, Ghoster, and Starlight if, they, if I can get, um, if they come Starlight. So I'm trying to complete that set currently. They'll get all of them as OTs, Ghost, and Starlight if they come in Starlight. Or at least as many mirrors as they come in because that would be super cool to have is like, kind of like just sitting on a shelf. All the Sandy Dragons coming together and all their, and like, all their max rarities. Well, highest rarity, so I should say. I thought that'd be really cool to have for me personally since that's my likes 5Ds a lot. And so that I'd have the Starlight Stardust, that'd be super co cool to have Simo's card with all the other um, Sign of Dragons as well. I got a Junk Berserker. Got two copies of um, Stardust um, Cypher Divine Dragon. I thought it looked really cool. I'm not sure what I'm using it for though. I just kind of just picked it up because it's like, well, I probably could find something to use it for. Ultimate is looking for the collection as well. This for the Sino Dragon stuff. Um, this card is going to my deep, my deep sea Marinces Aqua, um, Aqua Actress generic water support good stuff deck that I would be uh, hopefully finishing sometime soon. Picked up a Drac Synchro that I need for Drax. I uh, picked up two copies of Bujinti, um, Bujinti Su Susano, um, Susanoa, or Susan Susano. I don't know. But um, I picked up two of them because I was like, I already like this rarity a lot. So uh, they had them, they're like 50 cents each, so I picked them up because I was like, why not? Picked up two copies of um, number 101 Silent um, Honor Arc. They had two of them as ultra rares. I picked up both of them. And then I got one gold red one, which I also picked up. Then I also picked this card because I, I have never seen this card before. So I picked it up because it looked really, really, really cool. I don't want the hero Noah Master. I have never seen this card before, so it kind of like piqued my interest. So I got it because I thought it looked really cool. And it's like when I said, I was like, "What the heck? Was like, what the heck is that? I've never seen this card before. That's so weird." Then I got one of my favorite Elemental Hero fusions. Well, my top, my two favorite Elemental fusions, two of them, anyways. Got an Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster, which is one of the fusions I like. Um, my favorite Elemental Hero fusion is uh, uh, is Mudball Man, not Mud Mudball Man. Um, Steam Healer, as I'm gonna say. And then we got my favorite Neos fusion, being Elemental Hero Cosmic um, Cosmo Neos, Cosmo Neos, and I think Grand Neo. Um, what is it? It's Cosmo Neos and Grand Neos. Is one of something like that, but like those two are my favorite Neo fusions. I really like the way this card looks. It looks so sick. You know, I had this card already. I just picked up another one just because it's, I, I like the way it looks. I thought it banged on that card, so it didn't matter to me. We got a Elvis here at Brave Neos. Picked up two more copies, um, secret copies of Melifo's, um Mythrium that I think I need. I think I need to, um, needed these two to already bump my Metaphos that I have in both Insectors and Metaphos, but I'm not I'm so sure if I needed them or not. And also picked up two copies of Secret Rare Full Metaphos of the Hist for also rare developing because I'm pretty sure I need those as well. Um, picked up some of the Crawler Link 2s, the one that point downwards and I can't pronounce his name. I think it's Quill Arc or something like that. Picked up three for the binder for um, my World Legacy binder since this card is one of the cards I can never seem to pull. So I picked up three. Um, same thing with um, these Prismatic Secret Rare Equimaxes. These are also for my binder since I uh, don't have... I think I have one on binder, but I needed three. I think I need three still. So I picked up two of them for my binder. Same thing with Orchestrion. Um, three of them go to the binder. I think two of them are for the deck, since I think I needed two more for my Orcas deck, which I'll be deck providing hopefully sometime soon once I um, rework the deck a little bit. So I'm going to try that off. So, you got, so I got five in total for uh, Orchestrion. I got one Longirsu. Um, for, um, I think this is for, I think I need, I'm not sure if I needed this for the deck or for the, um, binder, but I'm pretty sure I don't need this for anything. And I just picked that one up because just in case I needed it. 
But I don't think I need one for Binder though, which is kind of cool. Then I picked up a copy of, well, a few copies, actually, like four copies of this card. I really, I really like this effect, and I feel like I can make it work for like some really gimmicky deck. So let's figure out, kind of like just test it out, see if I can make it work for, for something. I feel like it would be a really cool card though, um, if I can make it work. So I'll find something to do with it. So I was reading it, kind of like never seen it before, so I read it. I was like, that's something like it should be really fun to play around with and kind of see what happens if I can um see if I can break it or kind of make something really cool combo with it. Um, next up we got two copies of Felgo, Justice for Hire. I needed two more for my um for hire deck. So I can finish it off. Uh, I'm still missing a few of the new support, but I'm at least one step closer to finishing that deck, which is super cool. Then we got two um, Crusade and Mag uh, Magus for the binder as well. Um, one topological bomber dragon that I need for um, my rocket deck. A prediction um the prince, the uh, prediction princess ritual monster for prediction princess. I'm planning to do something with it. I don't know what yet though. Um, we got a Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, as that really cool, full secret rare card, um, like rarity, that I really enjoy. I don't know what this rarity is called, but I really like how it looks like uh, the whole entire card shiny. It's not that, that, like the text box and doesn't look like a real card, kind of. But I really like this rarity a lot. And I think it's really cool. I have, um, this is like the third one I have. The third, like, um, completely different card I have for this in this rarity. I have Tiger King. I have Bujenti Susano. Susano. Then I have Adas Dragon. Um, I do want the rest of the cards to come in this rarity. Because that would be really cool set to complete. So, yeah. Um, then we got um, Raphael. Um, Justice Fire. Or Champion Fire. For the Fires. I'm thinking it's card for Fire, but I'm not so sure of them. We got a Wind Up Shark for my Wind Up deck. Because um, it's one of my favorite wind-up cards. This actually is my favorite wind-up card. It's really, it's really cute. Um, we got a big core for my BES deck. Same thing with Tetrin. Got two Tetrins, two um, crystal cores. Because I'm trying, I am trying to rebuild um, BES since I don't know how, I don't know where my BES deck is, and I think I lost in the story along with my um, Yang Zings, which kind of sucks. Since I have to now build like a few a few decks that I that I had back in high school, I had to rebuild them again, which kind of sucks for me, because building decks from high school always sucks because I can never remember cards I had in them. Even though BS isn't the best deck to be honest, but it's, it's something I enjoy playing. Uh, we got one Trickster um, Lycoris or Licorice, because I just, like that card a lot. It was one of my favorite. It was one of my. It was the first card that I pulled from Call the Duelist. So I bought, so I got one. It's not the cold dose one, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Uh, I was supposed to get it signed by the lady at the card shop, but I forgot to do so. Uh, Cause I don't get it signed like two cards for me to kind of like just to put on the shelf, but I forgot to. So I probably end up bringing with me and get somebody to sign next uh, next time I go. Um, we got Yang Z uh, Fire of the Yang Zing for my Sword Soul deck, since I am playing Yang Zing Sword Soul. Um, got a Glacial Beast, um, Blizzard Wolf, because this card's really good. This card seems really good in a, in a water deck, so I'll probably end up splashing into, like, the, um, Marinza's, um, Deep Sea Aqu Aquatrix deck I'm, I'm building. See how it plays out. We got a, um, Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter for True Draco. Um, do you plan on building True Draco at some point in time, especially with the new support they got, the new Pendulum support? So that'd be pretty cool. Um, Lee, the World Chalice Fairies for my binder. And I think I needed another one to um, ready bump the one that I have in my deck. So hopefully that comes up. Then we got another Lee. Because I didn't know how many I needed. Then we got three World Chalice of God Dragon. Excuse me. To ready bump the two, the ones I have in my binder for World Legacy. And I think I needed one more for the deck as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, two more, um, World Legacy, World Lance, Super Rares, because this card's really good, it was a really good hand shot for Link Monsters. Go ahead, does when your Link Monster attacks, um, when your Link Monster battles, you can discard it, you can discard from your hand and attack one point, you're, attack, you're attacking opponent's monsters, or your opponent's monster is battling, whatever, 
and it loses 3,000 attack points, which is like super good for like um, helping you get over bigger monsters. It's just a really good hand trap to me. And something I like playing into in most decks that I play. It's really fun for me. Um, one world legacy, one world legacy world chalice for my deck, for my binder, I'd say. Since I need another one. I think I need one more after this one. Um, a world crown, because it's a world crown. I need it from the binder as well. Plus it's the free special summon for most um if you have a link to my deck. Then we got one copy uh oh, two copies of Evil Heal. Uh, for our best actors. We got a wild, a wild um hope, a two copies of Mel Madonna, two copies and uh, three copies of three copies of Leading Lady, and then one copy, another copy of Wild Hope, for my um a best actor deck that I am building. Um, I do gotta kind of go back through it with the new support they got to kind of see how that changes up the deck, but um, we're looking forward to building it. Um, Prediction Princess, um, Petal Leaf, for our Prediction Princess, of course. Uh, then we got over here the last few Yu-Gi-Oh cards we got are two more prediction princesses up here um got two copies of um Mechanon Avram one up here and one down at the bottom for my um binder got a victory viper double xl3 for my spaceship deck that i am building which is going to be just like a very gimmicky deck that i'm building with a bunch of battle traps so it's gonna be really fun to shut off. Um, it's not like gonna be a real quote unquote deck. It's gonna become something that I'm messing around with just for fun. Just have a lot of fun with. Um, we got a Stay Sailor Romania. Cause I, I really like this card. I think it's really cute. And I just like having it the card. Um, an Aqua Actress te um, Tetra. Cause I need an Aqua Actress. Um, Lucky Pied Piper. I pulled to get signed as well, but I forgot to do so. So, I put, I put I just get it signed. Uh, I don't even know what it does. I thought it looked really cute. And then we got more World Legacy Heart down here. And then one up here as well. And then also bought these Pokemon cards. Um, I got a Oricorio. Um, I um, think it's Illustration Horror card. We also got a Toad's, um, Toad's Cool. Yeah, we got a Toad's Cool. <clears throat> Can I get a card? I did buy um, the... Clauncher one from Scarlet and Violet base set whenever it got released in Japan. Now here's the Oreo Corio one. I also picked up a um V Star a Z um Zero Aura V Star. Cause I like Zero um Zero Aura. It was my first it was the Pokemon I played as it was my main in Unite, which I no longer play anymore. Now, I haven't played. I haven't played in a while, mostly because I, the person I, pl I normally play with is no longer here. She kind of um, we're no longer together, so I don't play anymore because I only just play with her. But yeah, kind of sucks, though. Um, got a Rainbow Rare Lilligant V Star because Lilligant is one of my favorite Pokemon. So of course I picked this up. I think I got like like um twelve dollars, which is pretty good. This is the again, so of course I have to pick it up and take it home with me. My scene was like, yeah, let's go home with me. This is Japanese too, which has a very, very, very beautiful background. And in case you didn't know, I don't think I'll put my card next to me. Uh, do I? Oh, fuck this. Uh, um, yeah, this one. In case you want to know what the difference is, why is the background of Japanese cards better? There's a Japanese card. This is an English card. Look on the back. There, the Japanese one have like little symbols and looks a lot better than our plain blue ones. I prefer if they went with the Japanese ones. Um, backing because it looks a lot cooler than just having the word Pokemon and the Pokeball with the blue swirl. I prefer having Japanese backing, but I like this card a lot, so I picked it up. I don't have one in English yet. I don't think, but I could be wrong. So, um, I gotta check and see. Then I picked up because I randomly I like this card for some really re random reason. Since I have a tendency to like really random cards for Pokemon, I picked up one Fighting type Energy Full Art, like um, textured card in Japanese because I think it looks really cool. And then I also picked up an Electric one, and these are both from Scarlet and Violet, by the way. 
and they're both like two dollars each so i picked the one of each of them i do want to get the um some of the other gold rare energy cards and have like a complete binary set of this um textured or gold rare energy cards because some reason i really like those cards and i don't really know why i just think they're really cool looking so i am will pick up my set of those and that's pretty much it the actual mine is completely empty um overall um i had a really fun experience going there again uh i think the next time i go i'll probably do like a little vlog um on friday or well, this friday when i go back again so you guys can kind of see like um all the cards they have with um they're not really a big card shop though, should, should say they're pretty small but um i do play, they play vanguard they do have um figures and pops and a few other cards i went through like I think like seven or eight different binders and got everything i, I wanted and like they have like these cards obviously were like in a um little case a glass like case this um table thing but um i do plan on getting the the two the ghost rare and the ultimate rare power to dragons since i do want both those cards uh, I'll probably get them after or around the time I get my driver's like I'm going to driving school, since I'll be right over the, right near the um the since the driving school I'm going to will be right near like down the street from the comic book shop from that car shop, so I'll probably end up um once I um probably get them as like a thing once I pass driving school, I'll probably go get up and just go into the car shop and get those two cars as the kind of like little I did it sort of thing, just to help over try to make me a little bit happier. Since I've been really, really depressed recently. Well, I've been depressed, all, depressed like last like year and a half now, but you get the point. I'm just not very cheerful any, much anymore. But, um, yeah. Um, there should be a card opening today or tomorrow since this video is going up on Saturday. Uh, I do it after this court video. I'm going to go to Walmart to get cards for the channel. So you should be getting a card opening if not today tomorrow or um if not today you should be getting one either tomorrow being sunday or on monday but yeah one of the sometimes i'm saying you're getting a card opening video but um that's it tell me what you think uh but i picked up oh before i forget i do kind of want to show you guys the deck i was using since i did kind of show it off um in last week's video I got the last two cards I needed for the deck, so kind of want to start off. Kind of, I will be doing deck profile on it soon. Ah, I just dropped all my cards. Wow, that's very unprofessional of me. You would think I am not good at cards, but the main times I just randomly drop cards off my house. You would think I have never touched a trading card in a day in my life. But yeah. Oh, um, also, um, before I get into that talk, I will also be doing another collection video. I like showing you guys, like, my personal stuff that I keep in my binders or, like, on my shelf. Um, so you guys kind of see what all I have and what I keep to myself that no one really sees, in case you're wondering. Um, and also we'll be doing a series um not really a series but like kind of like going through like my like going into my collection room and going through my decks and kind of skimming through all of my decks that i have so you guys kind of see what all are in them in case you're wondering because i know some some people are probably interested in that since i do have like 30 i think i have like more than 30 decks i think at this point either just in binders that are in that aren't put together or just in a deck box that also aren't put together Probably have like two complete deck being Zectors and like um Metal Force probably. Yeah, this is the deck that I was using. It's called Galacticara. And basically the whole theme is having their um base unit, which is kinda like uh first of all in Yu-Gi-Oh! So here. Kind of be like stack them up as many um you want to stack like two or three of them up. And what the base does is allow you to scout units with basically putting them underneath them to be called to either help you guard it from attacks or to help you call other units to your rear guard circles. They're gonna help you fight your um deal more damage to your opponent. Um, it's really fun in the grand game because like you can have um your units in your order zone being uh, out of scouted, kind of get to keep, get caught to field. So like you really don't have to commit anything from your hand, really, stuff like a discard. 
So it's like, and then all your discards equal to more um, searching or getting other bases. So it's like, you're not really losing advantage by discarding cards most of the time. And another like side um, team the deck is switching your their places when you attack, which makes it so that you can get like use like four attacks and uh, other than the, um, rather than the standard three you normally get. But um yeah, a lot of fun. Um, let me know what you guys think because I would like to get your opinion on everything and what you think of the video. Because uh, I do plan on doing more um videos of like this where I just go to comic shop or cart shop, as I should say. And then on Saturday, I'll show you guys or tell you guys what I did and how it was. Since I'm pretty sure you guys want to know about my experiences, because I don't see why you wouldn't, unless you guys don't like that. But let me know. Anyways, um, that's it for now. Remember to like the video, comment down below what you think, and until oh, subscribe, also subscribe to the channel. Can I have post today? Because we are trying to reach 500 by the end of the year. And in case you didn't know, July 11th is my birthday, and hopefully I. Either we'll be streaming, like going live, doing a live stream for like me doing openings and doing a Q and A, or if not, I will be doing card openings and giving away structure decks for Yu-Gi-Oh and probably some sell Pokemon products. I don't know yet. I might also be giving away like two uh, legendary collections, the 25th anniversary collections, depending on if I can find them, because I don't really like those sets and it's I don't know. I really don't like them. So I never really went on my way to find them. But yeah, that's it for the video. And until next time, this is Jackson signing off.